Hey folks, how's it going? So, sitting here working on my buddy Snoofer face. <laughs> uh, I got to the point where I was, uh, I've painted him up, but I was away to add the standard. Uh, now, I kind of did a little bit of modification to the original standard. Um, I'll try and put a video or a picture in here, uh, just so you guys can get an idea of what that looked like. But I did have uh, the heads hanging down and things like that. Um, but as I say, it came uh, time to paint that up to put it on. And I didn't like the way it looked, it just, I wasn't happy with it. Um, it just was kind of clumsy. And uh, I wanted to do something that was a little more original because this, you know, the standard was kind of an opportunity for me to add a bit of modification and things like that. So I wanted to do uh, more modification than I had done and just make it look a little more badass. So uh, I went ahead and started doing that. I've still a little bit of work to do on it, but I just wanted to show you guys um, before I started painting it and things like that, I wanted to show you what I'd actually done as far as uh, changing it up goes and uh, I'll just show you the, the paint job so far on Snoofer Face so I'll flip you around here and uh, hopefully you can get a decent uh, idea of what's going on here yeah just went with like a, a kind of haggard green uh, you know green sort of theme to it uh, just like the it was on the box uh, I think I've gone for a slightly more vibrant green than was on the box um, but yeah, just a whole bunch of layers of uh, washes and dry brushing and things like that. I uh, obviously added in the, the boils or whatever they are um, in there. Uh, again, on each of those there's layers, there's about three different layers um, up. As, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up. But uh, it's just to build up the, the detail in the, you know, the smallest parts. And then the parts where the... Uh, the flesh is actually, you know, broken, and uh, there's like the flesh underneath. I wanted to make those um, kind of like dry in a sense that I didn't want, you know, huge wounds in them that were pouring blood because these guys are kind of like zombieish, you know, they're um, they're they're not fresh wounds and stuff like that all over them, so they're just kind of you know old and weathered looking. Uh, even like so the you can see on the the leg there the blood drips and stuff that are coming out of these wounds uh, are looking kind of washed out and and muted slightly like they've been walking through you know rain and wind and just all the elements have kind of dulled the whole thing down uh, I didn't want fresh you know bright red blood pouring out of these things um, just because it you know it works in some cases but uh, not for uh, for undead zombie style dudes. Uh, same with the the big open wound on his belly there, with all the the teeth inside. Uh, I wanted to make that look kind of rotten and gnarly uh, inside there. So same sort of paint effects going on all throughout there. So the standard is to go up on here, and as I mentioned, I made some modifications to uh, my original idea, and uh, came up with this. This is uh, where I'm at just now. Uh, the stuff that you see in grey is the um, the standard as it was originally. Um, I had cut off the, uh, there was a few hanging uh, heads and a bell and stuff like that on the bottom here, but I'd cut those off. Um, it was just as I said, I didn't like them, they looked too clumsy. And uh, just instead added, um, I cut uh, some kind of arrows out of uh, plastic card, just uh, really really thin, probably about half a mil thick. Went ahead and cut a little slice of tube, uh, put that in the middle. I'm trying to figure out what to put in the very center there. I don't know whether I'm going to put like uh, some kind of green gem maybe or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I might add some green stuff in there and do like a little, uh, some kind of green magical gem or something. So I uh, cut these arrows and then uh, did these like horns up the top kind of mimicking the you know the sort of look and shape of uh, Snoofer Face's horns here uh, one slightly longer and larger uh, than the others just to give uh, you know some interest up top here uh, to make it slightly more top heavy as well um, but on the back side of this there is uh, just a bunch of uh, the plastic card and uh, the tu tube as well. I textured the, the tube here to make it a little... Uh, I'm going to texture all this as well to make it look like haggard uh, metal. I'll probably add some little rivets in here just to make it, you know, look like it's not just kind of glued together. I'm going to make it look like it's all actually uh, hammered together. Um, but the, the reason for the tube on the back there is because that fits 
uh, you can see if it would focus, there we go, you can almost see that. Um, that uh, the, the tube, the hole in the tube actually fits perfectly on uh, this, uh, this stick here, which is kind of handy. Um, but I'm not done with modifying this, I want to also add a couple more bits. Uh, I cut down a piece of sprue, uh, just whittled away at it, and that is going to sit in the top of, <laughs> this is hard to do when I'm looking through a, a viewfinder on a camera, um, I cut uh, down a piece of sprue and that's going to fit in the top of this tube here, um, which is going to look like the top of this uh, this wooden stick here, so it'll look like that's going up all the way through it and it's kind of, you know, uh, sharp into a point at the top. Um, so that is one little piece that I want to add on to it, um, and also uh, I'm going to show you guys this all put together in a second but I just want to show you where these little bits were coming from before I put it all together. Uh, I've got these two things um, these were from some kit I can't remember I've got a whole box of stuff um, like half finished project and just little bits of model kits that I haven't used um, so I keep a hold of all those and I just kind of I'm raiding through them and just going to use little bits and pieces from them in uh, the new projects that I'm working on uh, just because you know it saves me having to sit and sculpt tiny little bits uh, when I can just use interesting bits from existing models um, but I'm going to use uh, this long uh, ribbon banner type thing there you go you can kind of see that there it's got this little hook up top and then there's the 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 banner. So I'm going to cut off either side of there obviously and just use this this long strip and I've actually gone ahead and um, there's a tight, there you go, tiny tiny little hole that I've drilled in the top there and I'm going to drill a little hole in the bottom of this side here uh, and use a little piece of wire just to make sure I'm not just gluing you know one piece onto another I actually want a piece of wire going up into there just for added support if this takes a little knock or whatever you know it's not going to come flying off um, so that long strip there and the little hook will go on this side and then on the other side I'm going to use come on focus there we go um, one of these little skulls this one here I think um, I'm going to cut again this side and this side of it so you've just got this little uh, the skull with the, the rope going up and then this little knot sort of section and again I've drilled a tiny little hole uh, that is not going to, oh there you go um, a tiny little hole up top there again so I can drill a little hole in this side and uh, put a little piece of wire in and glue it again for some added support so I'll go away and do that and um, I will uh, come back and show you what it looks like on uh, Snoofer Face and what it looks like when he's holding it. Alright, and there we go with the standard all assembled and on Snoofer Face. Uh, it's still detachable uh, just now because I want to be able to get in there and paint up uh, all the detail easily uh, without having to worry about uh, the rest of the model. Um, but yeah, I just want to show you guys uh, what it looks like on there. Uh, really pleased with it. It kind of looks, you know, it looks unique and. Uh, much more uh, badass than it did originally I think um, but there we go that is uh, Snoofer Face and is, uh, is standard so I gotta go away and paint that up um, but that's what it looks like from the back still a bit of work to do uh, on the back there as I say just so it doesn't look like a bunch of flat uh, plastic card on there um, but yeah I think it's uh, it should look pretty cool uh, when it's painted up and as I say looks a bit more different and interesting visually uh, than it did before because uh, I know this is just tiny little details and stuff like that and uh, this has been a whole 10 minute video or so about it but I think it's things like this that kind of set your uh, models apart from you know everyone else's uh, doing little things like this and it's fun as well I really enjoy doing it so um, you know it's uh, it's all a part of the, the whole miniature process for me so there we go, as I say I'll be back uh, next video in this series, the Plague Bearers series, uh, I'll probably be showing you uh, Snooper Face all painted up and finished and then talking about plans for the next model in the collection of Plague Bearers which should be pretty cool. So uh, until then, cheers for watching and I will catch you all later. Bye!